Take two. <laughs> Take two. With our total first try, because my OBS definitely did not crash, I am here <laughs> with Bug of Cake, who is now the world record holder of Der Eisendrack. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are reacting to the world record speedrun for Der Eisendrack, but we have a twist. I actually brought the speedrunner on to explain his run, to go through everything that he's thinking in his head, how he actually managed to attain this run after 26 thousand plus attempts this is absolutely insane hope you guys enjoy the video his links will be down below in the description let's get into it looking at the top right up there twenty six thousand eight hundred and seventy nine is the amount of runs it took for you to get the world record on this map those are not only just like times you've played this map but those are specific speed run attempts that's not you learning the map yeah. those are actual attempts those are me like studying the clock on a potential could be run Dude, and, and, and you said the 136 next to that is those are the only, out of those 26,000 runs, 136 runs actually went to like, you have killed the boss. You've only really yeah. beat the boss on these attempts 136 times. Your runs you have been killed me. like you with everything me. else okay. before that. Yeah, every other run has died, but 136 made it to the cutscene. That's insane and then so we, we took again we're, we're literally just rehashing what we just talked about but the uh most of those runs you say four fifths of those runs don't even make it past the first couple seconds of the game because you need the uh the raindrops gumball like first off out of the box and then if it, you don't get that it's just an immediate restart yeah exactly if you uh if you don't get raindrops you've got to restart so four fifths of those runs aren't uh won't last more than a few seconds so is with speed running i know that like some mods are allowed do you use a mod that allows you to like fast restart or do you just use the console command to like fast restart on every single one of those killed runs because like I'll, I, essentially i i at one point got on the shadows of evil world record like leaderboards but because i had a mod menu loaded up i actually had my run disqualified i think i had like 15th place or something like that on shadows of evil are you allowed certain mods on this like how how are you able to do the fast restart without sitting through the yeah. like intro cutscene every single time yeah the fast restart you could what you can actually do is you can bind the function to a key by going into the um binding files within the game's code and you can just bind a button to fast restart that's what we do I see. That, like in this run i have to restart for rick often i'll uh i'll explain later why but to do that i have to just like keep resetting until i see his arm oh, oh you much. literally you, you don't even wait for the pictures to load in you wait for the rick arm first <laughs> yeah whenever you do a fast restart it <laughs> it like shows like a split second like a split second you can just see the, oh yeah you i know are. what you're talking about the arms like flash in for a second before the rest of the map actually loads so you can just see yeah okay i'm really exactly. i'm really interested to see how richtofen actually makes a difference in this easter egg because off the top of my head i am not remembering yeah by the way um you can see i got a nuke on the stairs and that that was a bit annoying. that was a good thing or a bad thing it was a bad thing. I wanted to hit the gun machine, but oh, the dude's blocking okay. it. So, so what what would you say out of like? Because I know in the speedrunning software, or in the timing software, you have like some of best, everything like that. What? How close is this world record to your sum of best? Like, if you had an absolutely perfect game, what is the fastest time you could get on this? Uh, my sum of best right now is a twenty-four, like a high twenty-four. A high twenty-four, and this is twenty-six thirty-five. Yeah, because there's loads of um RNG. There's also loads of like, just you're going to lose time unless you're like the luckiest being alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they, like no amount, like unless you quite literally have like one in one million RNG, you're not gonna get the sum of best at the end of the day. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, and, and even if you did, I feel like I'd probably like, like crumble under the pressure if that actually did happen. <laughs> so, uh, so let, let's talk about the RNG because that's like a huge part. I actually, it's like I, I'm sure annoying for speedrunners, but. The RNG is kind of like what makes these zombies run so amazing is like not only do you have to play out of your mind, but you also have to literally like be at the whim of the game. You can be having the best run of your life. Everything is going perfectly and then you just get a bad wisp. So what yeah. like explain because we've we, we've all watched the speed run of this before, but I want to hear like from the speedrunner's perspective, what is every single part of this map and this run that can absolutely ruin your run on bad RNG? I say before I answer this question, I'll just say this while feeding dragons one little thing you might not notice is every time i kill i kill him at the very like back of the zone like you see that 
And that is so I can get the fast eating animations. Wait, the fast like, for the gumballs? For the dragon. Like, oh, 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 because it, it does it still count the souls, but it doesn't actually get sucked through the wall. Like when he when he eats the zombie, he has like set animations and some are faster than others. If you kill the zombies at like the very back of his like kill range, he'll do fast eating animations and save you time. <laughs> Okay, that, that is, Just, I literally, and then I, I probably watched this world record run as it's being beaten over the years, like five or six times. I literally never knew that there were different, like, dragon yeah. eating animations. <laughs> well, that's what I'm here for. He's <laughs> here for the explanations. <laughs> we love it. So, so yeah, at this yeah. point in the run, you're just trying. Like you, you mentioned in the previous one, we got like five minutes and we got it to about yeah. this point. Uh, yeah, the yeah, the round the five here. dogs are good, right? Look at this. Uh, Oh, the snipe! Like, you were going over there just in case you missed it, but you hit it, so you knew you yeah. could turn around. It doesn't save any time un unless you get like a terrible fur dragon. Mm -hmm. In this case, it would have because if your fur dragon's fast, the anti gravity here won't turn on, and you'll just have to wait. Most of the time, you're waiting down there. Right. But in my case, my fur dragon wasn't that amazing, so I did have to wait. I mean, didn't have to wait. The anti gravity was already on. I just had to jump straight on. Right. Right. So here we go. First teleport. Uh, but yeah, so, so so I the one that pops into my mind immediately as like uh, someone who's never speed ran this map is the Wisp. What and then uh, well obviously you need to get raindrops first. That's like uh, uh, the very first thing you do. But assuming yeah. you make it past that and you get good Wisp, what else are like major RNG run killers on this? Well, before the Wisp, you have the dog round. You need that to be on round five. Otherwise, you lose like twenty or so seconds because um. Once you fill up all these jars and you gotta get your arrow, right? You can't move on to the next step, which is fill in the box to get the bow, without getting past the dog round. So that just loses your time, as opposed to doing it while you're shooting the bonfires, where you can just do them at the same time and save a lot of time. Right. So, so is that you? You can't fill them up yet because the game doesn't let you, or because you need the actual zombie spawns. You don't need. It doesn't work with dog spawns. You need. You need zombie spawns. Right, yeah, right. to fill up that. To fill up that box at um, Undercroft. Right. Uh, so after dogs, it's wisps, and then after wisps, it's um. More wisps. <laughs> <And laughs> yeah, yeah, because yeah, there's like four rounds of wisp. <laughs> and ABHs. Yeah. Event keeper, which I'd say is probably the most like skill like part. Like there, there is luck to it. Like the keeper route, you want it to start and end near Undercroft, but generally, like it's this probably the most like challenging part of the run. The run where like the runners have to play well in terms of like survival because right. it's very easy to die on that step the way we do it mm -hmm. but be just just because you're trying to do it so quickly and have the best spawns and everything like that oh my God. okay exactly. also also real quick insane abh to go exactly where you needed to go right there <laughs> yeah a little detail is uh if you was if you was back are we able to whiz back yeah, yeah yeah of course of course go back like here uh before then like for the third iron, so I guess after this one, yeah. So you go over here. Yeah. We we used to have a strategy where you can shoot two bonfires in one, but back there, but we decided not to do it anymore, because uh, it it's better to get here as quick as you can to get zombies spawning. In. You'll see here I'm like webbing all the zombies trying to get them widowed up. Yeah. Do you see that? Yeah. It's because I'm trying to get a power up to drop. And I'm trying, the easiest power for me to get would be to get the Widow's Grenade. Yeah, because it's like pretty geared. It's like really high chance of spawning from a Widowed Zombie, right? The reason I want the power up is because I want it to trigger the Rocket Test. And Rocket Test, um, so long that it's not on cooldown, it will it will turn on whenever a power up is dropped. Whenever like you spawn in a power up through a Gobble Gum or a zombie drops it or you get Widow's Wine. Any of that, it will just make the Rocket Test go off. That. Like, have you noticed that but you noticed that button that on the on the wall run that everyone yeah, says yeah. like you run over it turns on the uh, rocket test uh-huh yeah the in, in, this, does... in this room just just for people who don't know it's like you run around the top of this room and everyone says when you hit that button it will spawn the it'll like start the rocket test the reason it does is because it spawns a death machine power up so, so it's uh, actually the, the death machine that's spawning it in because you're getting that yeah. guaranteed death machine power up. Yeah, all it does is spawn that death machine power up, and the death machine power up, as a side, just turns on the rocket test, and a lot of people don't know that. That's but insane. That's like, I didn't know that. I've played this map a million times. I had no clue that that's actually why it was spawning it in. 
Yeah, th this map would be way more like luck based if we d didn't have that. We'd have to deal with rocket test too. That'd be another another thing we'd have to worry about. Right, right. But but luckily we could just get a power up gun, just pop it, job done. So so is the with with the rocket test like because obviously the rocket test isn't always going every single time there's a power up. So is there like a certain amount of time in between each rocket power up that you actually like are able to do that guaranteed method? There's a cooldown. It has a two minute cooldown after it's finished um rocketing and that's why i was trying to get a um power up at that third earn because if you don't get it then and you Holy get crap. insane with you will get the rocket and you won't be able to it because it's on cooldown because you're just too fast so that's why we try to go great on that third earn I'm sure that we do get insane games like this we can trigger rocket <laughs> okay I'm, 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 I'm gonna pause two seconds because you're going <laughs> I think your Discord, or my, maybe it's my Discord hall. Let's figure out Discord real quick. Okay, all right, we are back. After a brief intermission for internet, we are back. So, uh, okay, you are currently on uh, Wisp Step now. I forgot what we were talking about. What were we talking about? <laughs> um, I don't remember. I was talking about Rocket, wasn't I? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you got the Rocket. So, we'll, we'll move on to Wisp Step now because this is like, so I'm assuming after playing this map 26,000 times, or, or like uh, as many times as you've been on to this point in the run, you know the absolute best like <laughs> route throughout the entire like wisp area to get every single one as fast as possible, right? Yeah, unfortunately this run doesn't really show it because I got perfect wisp, which is insanely like rare, but it does happen. Do you know about the um, coin flip of wisp by the way? No, like I, I think not. you, I think you acknowledged it in a previous reaction, but like um, yeah, I'll, I'll explain it. So if you go back to, like when I got the first wisp, sure. Yeah, so, so you triggered a rocket. You You're go doing up, the bow, and then you hit. And then it's 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 here. Yeah. So that first wisp is completely random. One one of any of the eight. Yeah. The next wisp. This is only for solo, by the way. It will spawn in one or two locations based on like the two that are the closest to that wisp in terms of like distance. Treyarch like added this to make it um, less random for solo players, I guess. Uh, wait, so, so it, it only, sorry, it's a coin flip between the closest one or what, or the farthest? <laughs> the closest and the uh, second closest. <laughs> Uh, oh, so basically once you find the first one, you know it's in one of the next two spots. You just have a 50-50 yeah. shot so, of which one it actually goes to. Yeah, so for, I got radio. I knew the next one could be either the clock or power. And then I got clock. I knew it would be power or globe. I got power. I knew it would be globe or wheel. Don't ask why wheel's closer than boxes. It just is. <laughs> That's just how the game's coding works. <laughs> That's just how it is, I guess, distance-wise. Yeah. But yeah, so it feels more perfect than it actually is. It's not like it's fully random. It's just like the first one's random and the rest of them are one and two. So it's a one in 64 getting perfect wisp. Uh -huh. Oh, it's one in 64 chance. And then did you get perfect wisp on both your wisp? Uh, the second one's like there's different per perfects. Like that first one, there's only that one. That's the perfect nothing's right. as good but for the second one there's like different combinations that are equally as good and you got one of those equally as good combinations yeah but here you can see i'm hitting the gum this is the big big time loss in the run is uh i didn't get anywhere but here which is what you need because you're, you're trying to teleport out during this rocket test yeah well you want to grab the part then teleport out but here I have to, instead, I have you to, have just to like, run instead. Run over. Normally that would be a reset, but I was so like I was so insanely fast. Like a nine free X is like super rare. I think like only four or five times total from like everyone ha has ever happened. That's the second time for me. And that's because you had the like really really good wisp. You had the perfect wisp on the very yeah. first run around. On top of the good bow and the good crackle, because yeah, like. Yeah. Another like bit of RNG that people forget about is just spawns. There's loads and loads of soul boxes on this map, mm -hmm. and because there's loads of spawns and like, that's a RNG that people don't 
like take into account but you can just like lose lots of time just to getting slow spawns right is there anything you can do because on shadows of evil there's some crazy spawn manipulation where if you like go to a certain area look at a location and then run over and then stare at another location all the zombies spawn there is there any sort of crazy spawn manipulation on this map or are you literally just at the will of the zombies gods and what, what your spawn is actually like yeah unfortunately Treyarch did the uh he he hates speedrunners, Jason Bundo. <laughs> yeah. And what and so what he did was he he had that feature only on Shadows of Evil in the giant. He in the DLC maps he changed it to a new system, so it is just completely random. Uh, so so is there an actual like do you know the logical explanation on why that spawn manipulation does work in Shadows and does that work like throughout the map on Shadows? Uh. I don't know why exactly. I know it's based on like where you look. Mm -hmm. It's just something that Treyarch, for whatever reason, decided to add to the game. Mm -hmm. they, they, they've done a lot of that, just adding weird things, like <laughs> the Wisps like being... Different on solo heavy. than it is with like yeah. a, a full team. Yeah. And also Rocket just going off when you drop a power-up. Yeah. Like Once I finish the Simon, like, it'll be a perfect demonstration of uh, of it working. Um, oh, because you're gonna you're gonna use this to trigger the rocket test. Yeah, I don't I don't do it on purpose. It, I do it out of like muscle memory because I'm so used to having any over here there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I kind of trigger. I'm like, oh wait, I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> but you're, actually, you're quite literally not anywhere but there. <laughs> but yeah, I, it does play into my advantage advantage later. Mm -hmm. Because, because, because um, you're gonna have them in your gobble gum rotation. Well, because I triggered the rocket, so. Later on, it'll be on cooldown, and you'll see in a sec when I use the, the other nuke why, like, that sort of saved the run. You can see this wisp there. Whoop. Uh, wait, <laughs> I didn't even realize you were still on the wisp step during all of this. That's crazy. Yeah, throughout the whole thing, you're just shooting wisps, and that's why you want it to be at power, the church ones, and clock tower. It doesn't really matter which order it is. Like, it can matter, but for the most part, just getting those four would be considered perfect yeah because because like, you're already progressing through those locations you're already hitting those locations anyway for other parts of the easter egg it's just like as much. long as it's one of them yeah makes sense yeah, exactly and like the problem is though like throughout the entire thing you can just get globe instead which is just like you have to go over there to shoot it mm -hmm. so you just lose time yeah so globes trolled a lot of runners there i was meant to end the round here and this is where you'll see I had to pop the nuke to end it. Mm -hmm. Had I not popped it earlier, the rocket would have gone off and I wouldn't have been able to TP. Which would have been run dead. So you literally, you almost accidentally did something that saved the run from being a dead yeah. run. I guess that, that there's a lot of that in this run. This, is a, <laughs> this runs a very this runs a very scuffed run. <laughs> but it's still a world record because you just played perfectly and had really good RNG at the same time. Yeah, exactly. It was kind of it's kind of a miracle run. I mean, that's what I'll call it. That's that's amazing. So w with these rocket teleport, like once you hit all the wisp, once you go in here, is there any sort of manipulation that's been found to like make these cutscenes or like things go faster, or are you just kind of at the mercy of the game with these cutscenes? With the what, just going in the yeah, um, which go, like doing the uh, TP through time. There is something we found, and it's like it's been found for a long time. Mm -hmm. It's just not been implemented in solo because it's not yet like viable to do. Is uh, you know the plunger side Easter egg? Yeah. yeah. When you go in the plunger to pick up the like you run in the wall to pick up the plunger. Right. If you if you have all the wish shot, you can also get the tablet in the in that like room. But then, so, but then you have to do the plunger, the entire plunger Easter egg in order to get it. Yeah, like, exactly. Ready at the same time, like that's faster because you, like once you pick up the plunger, you immediately leave. Mm -hmm. So you just you save time there. Oh, yeah. It's not yet viable for solo because um, you have to go up to the clock. You have to slam the Ragnaroks. And then you have to wait the, for the clock to go all the way around. Yeah, you have to wait three minutes twenty for the clock to go all the way all <laughs> Which the way around. Is like basically like a tenth of this run. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Like the only the only viable way this that would work is if you stopped the clock during this keeper. Like the one I'm at right now, you'd have to stop it right now. And it's like it's too much luck for it to be done quick. So but basically if you're on a run that's like with with where, where the the world record is right now. 
with this RNG, you would literally just be throwing away a perfect run on like the very off chance you get like God RNG. Yeah. Like like it's for you to even it, get to this point, like for, that would be just astronomical, but it, it, it is technically possible. We do do it on um, co-ops, co-op yeah. speeder on two-player, two three-player, four-player. It's, it's good there because you have multiple people, right. so it's a, lot, it's a lot more viable. We also do it on classics, solo classics. It saves time there because in addition to that time save, you also have the time save of just having the plunger for the boss fight. It's a lot faster than KRM. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, but not sense. not faster than a death machine, which we use in megas. So, so it's not it, you don't get that time save in uh, in this. Because the the big part of the boss fight that like you're correct me if I'm wrong. You do still. I mean, it's been like a while since this world record got broken. It's been forever since I've seen it. Uh, you still use the pistol as the actual boss damage. Um, when you're when you're hitting the box, I know you always you're always curious. What? Why do we hit the box yeah. on the first dragon? Uh, we hit for free things, like free potential things. Is if you get them, you get them. If you don't, you don't. Mm -hmm. uh, monkey bombs. Right. It's if you get that, you can save time on the third dragon because while you're turning on the pad, you can just chuck one at the dragon head. And get free zombies. Kills there. Yeah, and they'll make zombies go to the dragon, not you, and that saves time most of the time. Mm -hmm. There's other time places where you can use monkey bombs too, just to put them, put the zombies where you want them to go. Uh, the second thing in the box is the um, XM53, which is for the boss fight. Mm -hmm. If you get the XM53 instead of the pistol, it's better than the pistols because you just bang, bang with the XM, it one shots the keeper. Uh, I see. So, Whereas, how much of a time save is that? That's like a few seconds, right? Yeah. The boss health, the boss fight health, it varies. It's not the same every time. So, sometimes you can get, get them with the death and taxes like a one clip without having to reload. What? And sometimes you don't. Wait, the boss's health is randomized in this boss fight? Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> what? It's, there's a lot of weird quirks to the boss fight. Like, uh, if you do it on round 100, you can just, like, tap him, do it like a tap shot with the lightning bolt, and he dies. That's another weird quirk. Is, is it, like, if randomized it, due to round? Has, have people tested it with different rounds? I guess it doesn't really matter because you're, like, killing the boss so fast. It's such a small part of this run compared to everything else, but... Yeah, we have, like, a tech guy that, like, is trying to figure it out. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> and then there's also something that recently got found. If you do, like, a million damage to the boss to in the first damage phase, you just skip the entire boss fight. It just ends. That's like a brand new discovery that's been found recently. So, like, for, for reference, how much damage do you... Like, say you use the pack punch starting pistols. How much damage do you do with, like, your full clip with starting pistols? I don't know how much exactly, but I guess for reference, t that the only way it can be done is if you have four players. They all have, like, um, stock option, the gum that, like, makes you not have to reload. Uh -huh. they, all have packed, they all have packed XMs, and they all just spam them. And because you're not reloading, it's just like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah I mean, that's... Fire. So... Oh, this part here is funny. <laughs> Wait, what, what What happened here? Why are you freaking... I hear you freaking out in the background. What happened? Oh, and then uh, it's perfect RNG. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Right. I need to get the rag part. Uh-huh. And I need... And in order to do that, I need to turn on death ray. And then you have to wait for it to, like, do its thing. Mm -hmm. So I had to turn it on before going to, like send the keeper to the moon right and i had abh so i thought i'd you know i thought i'd take a risk and i just use the abh after i hit the death machine uh -huh. and it sent me to rock and i was like oh come Which on is the this worst is... place to go especially during a test like that and during a test so i thought i'm not gonna get there in time he's gonna be waiting for me and yeah. then i got the next abh and i was just there before he arrived well... i was like wait <laughs> never mind you saw the run flash before your eyes right there also, that's what I mean by this said miracle run. Like, that's there was so crazy. Many, Cause, cause so like, many points where it could have just died. Yeah, yeah. Wait, I, uh, I was going to ask something about the bot. Oh, uh, during the keeper fill up the soul step with the bow, has the actual like logic been figured out on how many kills you need before he starts to move? Why does he move at the end of the rounds and stuff like that? Yeah, it's 20 kills. And uh, solo and two player, he, he moves when you end the round. Uh-huh. Three, three players, four players, he moves when you kill, like, 30, I think. I, I don't know how many exactly. Yeah, That's pretty, like, but if you kill 20 and 3 people 4 b he'll move when you're in round. That's the logic of the keeper, but, like, it's all about the round end. You need, like, 
because you get the 20 kills but you still have to just sit there and wait yeah. for like all the zombies to spawn in yeah yeah so which is why it's so good that you had nukes in the gobble gum right there so that you could force in the round essentially yeah you have to like keep good track of your gum cycle to make sure you get the nukes you get rain in order to nuke for keeper and you also need to have it in a way where you have rain in cycle later for mm -hmm. the boss fight because if you don't get rain it's a re it's like you runs over it's that much slower like because i know obviously the death machine is insane like it's one of the best weapons against the panzers but it's that big of a time difference that like it is impossible to get world record if you don't like get less let's put it this way i think one or two years ago i had a run where i ended boss two seconds slower than this run uh -huh. I, I didn't get rain that would have been like and this keep in mind i think record at that time was a 27 21 this is 26 35 yeah yeah so significant time difference yeah and this is also why i'm like really negative in this run like because i go in the boss fight because i've been in at that time i've been in that situation so many times where i entered a boss really nice time yeah and then i got terrible boss rng i i gotta explain boss rng yeah it's, yeah uh, me with it um, during this phase here, where the keeper's just doing his attacks, um, he does four attacks, uh, each based on the elemental bows. He does a void attack, where he sh like launches skulls at you. He does a fire attack, where he makes volcanoes. The lightning attack, what, which is that, yeah. which is at the end of the phase. And then the dog attack. The dog attack is a speedrunner's worst nightmare. Oh, uh, because it takes forever to like actually go through and kill all the dogs. Yeah, because... He takes it's seven seconds slower, uh, I see. and and he can do it multiple times. So you have a you have a good enter, and then he can just like dog you, dog you, dog you, and suddenly you're just there like. Your run's just impossible to world record on. Just, yeah, record. and that's it's especially crazy. that's only for the second like phase. On the third phase, it's only a one second time loss when he does it. I, it's another weird like just Treyarch just making just like cause. weird, just cause. Because they hate speedrunners. <laughs> I think they said that, yeah. I, I've been there before, and the, yeah, they definitely said they specifically hate speedrunners. <laughs> Just kidding, obviously. <laughs> pretty, pretty much. <laughs> that, that's amazing. So, so literally, you are 100% like at the will of the boss on second phase the most often, him yeah. not the dog attack. Yeah, there's so many like, times where I like got messed up by this boss, and this was the one. This was the one where he finally was nice to me, and he only gave me like. A one to two second time loss right. i think so it was, it was a good run at that point <laughs> yeah i guess i guess you could say it's going okay so far <laughs> <laughs> imagine if i got any over here though like you can see on the timer how much time that lost oh it you lost, lost almost 30 seconds to that that's what i mean like if that first cp wasn't like insane yeah it would have it would have been like way worse so are you then, I, I gotta ask real quick are you still speed running this or are you like taking a break now that you've decimated I'm on this a, i'm kind of a guy that just like get these weird urges just to play uh -huh. so right now i'm not playing i haven't played for like a week but that's mainly because my pc died oh, yeah. but, but like after being this i think i did like a couple streams just playing it because like but then again i feel like a good way to describe it is once you're like running a map, you kind of need to do a few extra runs after the world record to kind of like slow down. Like, you know, <laughs> yeah. like a like a full sprint, like 400 meter race or yeah, whatever. Yeah. They cross the, cool the finish down. line. <laughs> they've crossed the finish line. They have to like slow down, so they have to do a little bit more running. That's kind of like how to describe. Yeah, it. yeah, literally. I know. I, I I feel it. So I I know there's one last trick in this run. I have no idea how it works. I don't know if you know why it works, but you are going to specifically down yourself at a point in the dialogue and like literally die on purpose here. And then you revive and it's faster than waiting for everything to like trigger normally. I, I think this is kind of ruined by the fact that I said this in the first quote, but uh, first take, but you remember Rick often? Yeah. This is why you reset for him. He has a quote after you blow up the moon, uh -huh. but he, he doesn't say it if he's downed. Oh, so that's why... Oh, yeah, we didn't even mention it in the second take that... <laughs> You're freaking out in the background. <laughs> so you li li literally, that trick only works with Rick Top, and I had no clue. Yeah, yeah, that's why... That's why... 
you got to reset for him. Because otherwise, he co- even if you're if you're he's not in the game, it's the other characters. He comes in on the radio and says it, right? Yeah, he says it. He says it on the intercom and like, yeah. So it's just time loss there. That is correct. I had I had no clue. It had to be Rick Toppin specific for that. Uh, dude, there, oh, there's one other thing we mentioned in the uh, in the first take. What was it? Uh, oh, I don't remember. I'm trying to think like what I've missed because there's probably stuff I've missed because like. I mean, I've, I've like, learned explaining so one... much, dude. Because <laughs> I feel like I explain one thing while like all the rest of it's yeah, like yeah, playing. Yeah, yeah. it's like uh, a billion small things you're thinking about when you're doing this, like gobble gum management, like zombie spawns, everything yeah. like that. Dude, what a run! What a run! What a run! What a yeah. run! Well, thank you so much for hopping on and uh, explaining literally the intricacies of the speed run because that was like, I, I knew I knew there was gonna be more stuff, but you genuinely like are doing things throughout this entire run that I never even were, was considering. Checking wisp bonds, checking like gobblegum RNG, managing 18 different things. I didn't even know about half the RNG in this. So uh, like literally congratulations, insane run. Nice uh, can they, where, where can people find you? You're on YouTube, you're on yeah. Twitch. Yeah, I'm on YouTube and Twitch, uh, bug of cake, bug of cake. And there it is. I'll have everything linked down below. Thanks so much for coming on, man. Really, really appreciate you. I just unplugged Thanks, my headphones, man. so I can't hear anything. Feel free to say whatever you want right now. Lol. Lol. Thanks, bro. <laughs> <laughs>